Hello everyone. Hey, I just wanted to <clears throat> give you guys a um, product suggestion. Um, for those of us with, um, and it's not just for mold illness, this is for allergies or chemical sensitivities, or if you're just generally sensitive to smells, um, which there are a lot of us like that out there. Um, I found this mask and it is really super cool. Um, they come in different designs. They are a little expensive. They're, 30, they're $33, but they work really well. They have a carbon filter in it. I got mine with dogs, of course. Um, it kind of looks like a surgical mask. It's nice and, and soft. And you would think that, um, I'll turn around here, you would think that this carbon filter would bother you, like it would hit up against your skin, but it doesn't. Now these go around your ears, but they do have a head strap. So if this bothers you going around your ears, you can have a head strap that attaches so you won't have to put it around your ears. It's called a VOG mask. Let me see if I, yeah. I still have my little box here. So, VOG mask. Okay. And it has a carbon filter. Shh, hey, stop. Hey. They follow me everywhere. Everywhere. Stop it. Dusty blue. Quit. Ow. Hey, no bite. No bite. Be nice. Hi, baby. Anywho, so stop. So this VOG mask will filter out mold even, which um, those of you that have mold illness, you guys know that um, not a lot filters that out. Now, mycotoxins, um, I'm unsure of. Um, mycotoxins are extremely small particulates. So, um, so I'm not really 100% sure on the mycotoxins, but mold, yes. So, and I know, you know, it may not filter out all the mycotoxins, but it does help. And like I said, they come in different designs. I chose the doggy design, of course. Um, like I said, they're $33. The head strap is like $4 extra. So you have a $37 investment. <clears throat> um, I'm not really sure how long the carbon filter lasts. Um, but like I said, it just, and it has like, like, the wire it has the wire here so it will it will go around your nose but um, that was a nice little find I was looking for something that because um, I was really struggling in my bedroom there was something that was causing um, a really bad smell in the bedroom and I could not figure it out if it was a VOC or if it was mycotoxins or if it was mold. It did not smell like mold. I can tell you that. I was just, um, it just made it impossible to sleep. I think I figured out what it is and it's confusing. I think it was my, my air filter. I, I never had a problem with my IQ air, um, at all. And then I reordered some filters, and then all of a sudden I start having this like really bad like VOC like chemical smell coming out. And ever since I turned that off in my room, I have not had a problem sleeping. And I really hate that. I spent a thousand dollars on that thing, and I want to use it. And I, I know that it helps with mycotoxins and and mold filtering it out of the air, but what am I supposed to do if I can't sleep because of the VOC smell? So that's why I got this mask. Um, I really wish I would have had this for my trip to Columbus because that hotel room was awful. I mean, it smelled like mold. I could smell the mold. Um, I could smell that musty smell. And I went to a, I'm not going to name where I went, but it was a local place where 
Children and adults congregate alike. Um, how do I say that without actually saying it? To enjoy a very relaxing hobby that you use your eyes. Um, I went there to do some work today, and the mold was terrible in there. And it's an old building, a very old building. And um, I told my husband, I think I just need to start carrying that mask with me everywhere. Because there are stores I walk into in Bryan and in Fort Wayne, and the mold smell and the reaction that I have is just overwhelming and like today when I was working I was there for a little over two hours and by the time I left I had a splitting headache I mean my head just felt like it was gonna bust open and you, you know you I, I don't know if everybody knows what mold smells like because like when the levels were high in our house some people could smell it. Most people could not. Like, my mom could smell it. Um, everybody else <laughs> couldn't smell it. Nobody else could smell it. Um, so, um, it, it was that unmistakable, musty, dank, bleh, smell um, where I was visiting today. And I really wish I would have had this. Um, Will people look at you weird and think you're ridiculous? Probably. But it's better than leaving the place with a splitting headache and feeling completely drained and exhausted afterwards, isn't it? So, I think I'm going to take it everywhere with me from now on. Um, and if people think I look goofy or weird, I'm already goofy and weird, so why not look it, right? But I just kind of wanted to come on here and um, kind of show this product and um, tell you that it, it works. It, it really does help. Um, since I shut the air purifier off, I haven't really had to use it. Um, when I go into the basement, I, I put it on. So um, it's probably not going to take the place of your respirator. Um, for heavy duty jobs or really bad mold issues, but um, it certainly does help. Puts that barrier and, and a filter in between you and the volatile air that you're in. So, um, if you have any more, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, but it's it's really it's really quite great, and I love that it has dogs on it. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.